If you, like me, enjoy watching a bit of golf on the TV every now and then, even if it's just the major championships, you'll be so used to now seeing that when a golfer hits a ball, we get the line that comes behind, the top tracer line, the blue line that follows the golf ball off into the distance as it lands upon the green. And from watching golf for the last 20, 30 years, that's never really been a thing apart from maybe the last five years. And what an addition to the game of golf that is, how fantastic that is to see. And what I really start to notice watching golf on the TV, now you can get an accurate picture of how that ball gets to its target, is how very rarely a golfer, certainly a top end player, actually hits the ball dead straight. Now clearly they're good players, they're landing these things on the fairway, landing the golf balls on the green, but very rarely does the ball fly dead straight. We're so used to now seeing that blue line set off down the right hand side, over the trees, then curving back to land on the fairway, or down the left hand side, curving back, landing on the fairway. And often for the key players, the good players, they're doing that entirely deliberately. They're doing it because it's their preferred shape of shot. They may be doing it to ride the wind. They may be doing it because the type of the hole that they're playing shapes in that fashion. But they very rarely hit the ball dead straight. And that's because hitting the ball dead straight is nigh on impossible to do with great consistency and great accuracy. So you as a club golfer shouldn't necessarily be trying to or expecting to hit the ball like a laser every single time. A degree of curvature on the golf ball is fine as long as it's not too much and as long as it's predictable and reliable. Now that's not to say that if you're spooning it sideways over hedges and into trees you can turn around and say well I watched a fellow on YouTube and said that was okay. Of course if you're losing golf balls that's not okay and that's what we need to try and solve and sort out. And the first understanding of how you can solve and sort out those curving shots that send you into difficulty is understanding why does the ball curve like that? Why does it curve like that for you? Why does it curve like that for the world's best players? And there's two things that make a massive difference to how the golf ball flies. One is the position of the club face at impact, whether it's square, open or closed in relation to its target. And the other is the swing direction. So the swing direction we're going to term as sometimes called the path, and that's the direction the club is traveling through the point of impact. So is it traveling straight towards the target line? Is it traveling for the right? To the right for the right handed golfer this would be classed as in to out and to the left would be classed as out to in for the right handed golfer switch that round if you're a left hander so when we hit the golf ball we've got those two parameters what was the path of the club doing what was the club face doing and how does that create the shape on the ball now imagine you're a soccer player or a footballer and we throw the football on the floor and we kick it we're pretty used to seeing that ball come out with curve or spin and often the world's best players deliberately curve the ball by curving it with their foot either way right to left left to right and it's the same principle that happens here when we put spin on the ball it flies through the air and it curves the ball will start its flight, about 85% of the control of the start of the flight is related to where the club face aims. So let's just use that as 100% for the time being. If your face is pointing to the right, the ball starts right. If the face is pointing to the left, the ball starts left. Okay, we've got that principle. If the, ball, if the club face is square to target, it'll start largely square to target. But it doesn't always finish where it starts. You might be able to see a golf shot on your course or in your own game that starts left of target, finishes on target, or frustratingly starts down the target line and then misses the target. Why did it curve off line at the end? It went 100 yards dead straight and then it curved. Why did that happen? So the ball starts where the club face is aiming, but the ball curves in the opposite direction to the way the path was swinging. So if my path is swinging out to in, out to in this way, the ball will start relatively straight if the club face is square. But because the path was left, the ball will finish to the right. It curves in the opposite direction. Likewise, if my club face is square and I swing to the right, the ball will start largely straight, but it will move from the right to the left because it swings in the opposite direction. So next time you see that blue line appear on the TV and you see the ball curving, consider that you now understand where the club face for that player was and where the swing path was. If the club face and the swing path are relatively close together, the ball flight will be relatively straight because there's not a great deal of spin being imparted on the ball. But if the club face and the path are very different to each other, maybe the path is out to in this way and the club face is open, that ball's gonna curve a lot. In to out, 
with a closed club face, that ball's gonna curve a lot. The bigger the difference between the path and the face, the bigger the amount of curve. Next time you watch golf on the TV or play your own game, consider the club face to the club path relationship and you now understand the ball flight laws.